simple yet effective one minute scalping strategy that combines three exponential moving averages with the Williams fractal indicator. So I'll break down the strategy and show a bunch of examples for the take profit target, the entry and the stop loss placement. In a future video, probably tomorrow, I'll test this strategy 100 times. And in another future video, I will trade this strategy on the one minute chart of Bitcoin for eight hours straight so you guys can see how it actually performs in a live environment. If you're interested to see those videos, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe if you haven't to stay tuned for those videos. Now let's get into the strategy and break it down. For this strategy, you're going to need three exponential moving averages. The first one in purple is a 20 period exponential moving average. The second is a 50 period and the third a 100 period. Next, you're going to need the Williams fractal indicator, which are these arrows above and below the candles. To get this indicator, simply search Williams and you're going to see Williams fractals appear. I left the settings on default at two and I changed the style to green and red, but let's get into how the strategy works now. The first rule with this strategy is you can only buy when the 20 period EMA is above the 50 and the 50 is also above the 100. The opposite is true for a short position. If 20 period EMA is below the 50 and the 50 is below the 100, you can only take a short position. To get an entry signal, first you need to see price pull back into the 20 or the 50 period exponential moving average. Then you need to see the Williams fractal indicator print an arrow that is aligning with your trend direction. That is going to be your entry signal. Let's see how this looks on the bar replay feature. So first we're waiting for the pullback into the exponential moving averages. We get that and now we need to see the Williams fractal indicator print an arrow. Now that we have the full setup, we can take a long position here and place our stop loss below the 50 period exponential moving average. If price goes below the 50 period exponential moving average, then prints a Williams fractal arrow to give you an entry signal for a long down here then you're gonna be using the 100 period exponential moving average for your stop loss placement instead. Targeting 1.5 times the risk and we'll play it out. Now let's go on to some more examples. Now there's one very important rule that you need to follow with this strategy. If you see price close over the 100 period exponential moving average, you cannot take the next entry signal that's given. Let me show you an example here. Let's wait for a signal with the Williams fractal, such as right here. You cannot take a long on this candle because price had closed below the 100 period moving average. And even though all other criteria is met, you need to skip signals like this because when price closes over the 100 period exponential moving average, the chance of price being in a ranging period is much higher. Now let's go over an example where we're going to be using the 100 period exponential moving average as the stop loss instead of the 50. So we wait for the pullback and we wait for the fractal next. Not yet, but now we have it. So notice how price pulls above the 50 period exponential moving average. So this time we're actually going to be using the 100 period exponential moving average as our stop loss placement and targeting 1.5 times the risk. Now let's play it out. All right, so let's go on to some more examples. Now every trade isn't going to be perfect. Sometimes you have to wait a while for your profit target to be hit. So let's go over an example here of this particular trade. So we see the pullback into the EMA. So we're just waiting for our fractal. We get it. So we're gonna enter a short position on this candle right here and place our stop to the 50 period exponential moving average. And of course, targeting 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so now let's play it out and see how long it takes for our profit target to be hit. So we come down here, don't hit it, get another pullback, get another pullback, 
And then we have to wait all the way until over here before our profit target is actually hit. So not every trade is going to be the perfect sweep right down to your profit target. This one in particular took 34 minutes, okay? So let's show, show some other examples of more challenging times where maybe there are some stopouts or just times where it's not exactly ideal. In this example, you can see that the EMAs have just crossed up, so we're only looking for a long position now. We need to wait for a pullback into the EMAs. So we get our pullback, now we're waiting for a long signal from the fractal. We get it right here, so we'd be entering a long position on this candle and placing our stop down to the 50 exponential moving average and targeting 1.5 times the risk. But we get stopped out right here. Shortly after, there is another long signal, so we can enter this one as well. This time, stop's going to go below the 100 exponential moving average and of course again targeting 1.5 times the risk and on this one it is a successful trade sometimes you just have to deal with getting stopped out right before price goes in your favor and you need to keep trading the system and following the rules even though this is going to happen pretty often you can work on optimizing the strategy by maybe only taking the second signal after a pullback because often corrections come in three waves such as in this example we get the one push down smaller push up final push down for the third wave down and then finally a continuation of the uptrend so if you want to try and optimize the strategy you can do something like that but the most important thing is that you are disciplined and you stick to the rules of the strategy now let me show you how you can be rewarded by following the strategy and surviving losing streaks. If you find the right market conditions and continue to trade your strategy and take all the signals, then you can be rewarded with rapid succession wins in a very short period of time. Here's our first signal, targeting 1.5 and we hit our profit target and that only takes a couple minutes. We wait for another entry signal Here's our next entry signal for a short. One point five. There's the winner, and we wait for our next entry signal. There it is. And this is all happening in a very short period of time on the one minute chart. So as you can see, if you allow yourself to be in the position to have a string of winning trades, you can also be heavily rewarded for following the system. And especially in the right type of environment, you can have quite a few wins in a very short period of time, which also of course means that you can take quite a few losses in a short period of time as well. So. I'm going to show you guys in the 100 test video how this strategy really performs and of course if I get enough likes and interest on this topic I will do an 8 hour session trading on the 1 minute chart of Bitcoin where I just trade this strategy over and over again for 8 hours straight and see where the account ends up. All right, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. I don't know if I should set a goal for views or likes or something like other YouTube channels do, but I don't really know where to set the goal. Let's say uh, 20,000 views, okay? Let's call it 20,000 views, and then I'll do an eight hour session of trading the strategy on the Bitcoin one minute chart over and over again and see how it performs. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and lucky trading out there. Well, it's the weekend right now, but have a nice weekend and hope you have a good trading day on Monday.